Thank you very much. Now we invite Virgilio Merola, the mayor of Bologna, per favore. Cari amici, cari uh, dear friends, dear mayors, today we have the and the duty of uh, sharing our experience and taking part in a uh, universal reflection, universal like the message which Pope Francis has left us with his uh, encyclical, which I consider to be powerful and uh, rigorous in the field of human rights and environmental sustainability. Now, we know that no man is an island, but uh, Islands uh, should not be deprived of the responsibility uh, man has towards others and uh, nature. This is something which uh, will also be uh, characterized the um, order of the the, the uh, festival of the Franciscan order, which will be held for three years in my city, Bologna. I think mayors can, at the same time, time, time be uh, guardians and builders of peace. We are uh, temporary uh, stewards of a slice of world called city. Bologna is my home. I'm proud of it. Bologna is the city which uh, has the oldest uh, university of the Western world, city which in uh, the 13th century was the first to liberate serfs in our country. And uh, today, Bologna is a city which every 10 years sees uh, a 25% turnover in its population. Every year, we receive uh, new Italian and foreign citizens. And I can say that uh, Bologna is uh, one of the most uh, mixed cities uh, in Italy where increasingly people become citizens by choice and not by birth. I think that our task today, looking at, uh, looking into each other's eyes, is to rebuild our heritage of um, civic responsibility and civilization because it is becoming a everyday commitment to battle against those who uh, disseminate uh, fear and to uh, therefore um, base ourselves on courage. Individualism and populism is rampant in our cities. I think our role as uh, mayors is not to give in to this new uh, cynicism and uh, to try with the urgency of doing to our community trying to keep them united. We think uh, around concrete projects for the common good, around uh, an idea of participation as an action to uh, be with others. And that's why we've approved a, a regulation to apply Article 45 of the Constitution, which uh, speaks of subsidiarity, citizens who organize themselves to undertake uh, services of general interest can be uh, supported by municipalities. Uh, with this regulation, it now becomes an obligation. It means that all citizens associations and enterprises can draw up uh, agreements to cooperate with municipalities. Uh, we um, have a number of things involved, uh, public gardens, uh, social uh, assistance uh, and culture, uh, a number of these activities which can be undertaken uh, for the good of the city. With regard to climate situations, we agree the goals established in Europe with the uh, Mayor's Pact, and we are keeping to our targets for 2020. Again, uh, basing ourselves in associations uh, between citizens and uh, cooperatives which together with uh, the activity of the municipality in order to uh, refurbish all public buildings is um, something that shows hand in hand with citizens' activity uh, to improve their houses from a energy standpoint and therefore contribute to combating climate change. And so we call this mechanism the cooperation paradigm and shared administration, and we're doing it um, um, with the current difficulties, we're also doing it uh, with regard to human rights and so, uh, social justice. Up to 2013, in uh, Bologna, there was something called Identification and Expulsion Center, which was a modern uh, torture place where people uh, who did not have a uh, permit to um, stay in the country only because of this uh, were 
placed in jail. Um, thankfully, um, in line with the tradition of our um, city, with our constitution, we've been able to uh, stop this. It's now a, um, a center to uh, host uh, people who come to Europe. And I think that we need to uh, decide how to uh, defend human rights and never give in to the idea of uh, placing uh, human rights uh, under the uh, control of our um, responses to um, surveys because we know that human rights is something which is basic and the Bologna Municipal Council on my suggestion decided to confer honorary citizenship to Muhammad Yunus um, you all know uh, Muhammad Yunus and uh, we um, feel ourselves inspired by his works and his thoughts in our City, our main concern is to guarantee social services and educational services um, despite the uh, huge uh, cuts uh, to public spending because of the uh, financial difficulties of our countries. We have to get used to new poverties, uh, poor workers, people with acceptable incomes, and uh, we also have to uh, address the fear of uh, the middle class. Uh, of becoming poor after 50 years in which um, it had appeared that uh, people had uh, achieved the goal of uh, being safe from poverty. In Bologna there was a socialist uh, mayor called Zanardi who during World War I uh, his citizens uh, um, set up a bakery and began distributing bread. He's known as the Red Mayor. In our uh, neighborhoods, we've opened the Zanardi houses. What are the Zanardi houses? They uh, could, the third sector and enterprises and municipal uh, employees together and establish a uh, bottom up relationship network in order to provide opportunities for work and also in a number of cases, but also training to all the people who uh, need it, trying to uh, maintain and uh, build something which will be increasingly valuable, which is the um, value of relationship between people. Uh, one of our functions as citizens is to uh, create uh, bonds uh, between people who live in our cities. And also want to uh, point out that uh, combating poverty, particularly in our country, but I think this also applies internationally, also hinges on uh, combating criminal uh, organized crime. The 21st of March, Bologna hosted the 20th uh, day of uh, memory and commitment uh, in memory of uh, innocent victims of mafia organizations. Um, more than 200,000 people flocked to our city, and many of whom were young, boys and girls from uh, our country. Together with them and with Father Chot the Father Chotti Foundation, we um, established an MIU4. Um, um, procurement uh, contra uh, public contracting so as uh, not to um, have um, not the acceptance of uh, tender solely because they were the lowest bid so as to make it more difficult for criminal organizations to infiltrate the system um, protect uh, workers and uh, establish a level playing field for uh, companies which want to uh, act uh, fairly. So this is an experience I want to put to you because I think that uh, what we're here for is to reflect on issues but there's no better thing I think uh, than reflecting in doing things and also uh, being aware of the fact that in order to do things we necessarily make mistakes and we need to learn from mistakes. I'm here to listen and to uh, copy uh, good experiences. I think that's the most important thing to do. I think that our cities currently are a uh, work site. Uh, we need uh, projects and investments. We need these to uh, um, to have jobs and to combat poverty. We are confirmed also to we are called also to place uh, alongside our material uh, building sites some um, uh, uh, 
spiritual uh, building uh, site, construction sites, so that we can organize uh, sustainable development. I trust that Pope Francis and his words may accompany us and help us uh, to build these uh, construction sites of people who act in solidarity against new slavery and against uh, solitude. And I hope that uh, our discussion will allow us to overturn the hierarchical uh, and top-down paradigm of the 20th century, which has shown itself to be um, unfeasible and a individualism and a free market which has also shown itself to be damaged. I think people will make the difference in cities, people coming together using their freedom with responsibility uh, towards others uh, in order to distribute uh, wealth but not just that. So I think that in order to defend our democracy we may as should also be convinced that uh, one of our tasks is to redistribute power to people in order to move our democracy forward.